10 players was asked to kick the shit on Canelo's big move to HBO, and how what Cotto does fits in the mix. And y'all know the drill. We've gotta throw a 10 players holler out to Willie Mackett and Taiwan Snow on this Canelo, HBO Cotto talk. Hope we pronounced that right. So let's get this shit crackin' with no bullshitting, because a big move's exactly what the fuck Canelo to HBO is. You see Canelo's actually calling Mayweather out outside the ring. Canelo's picking a fight. When you say you're taking his date, and gonna fight on it, that's what the fuck it is. He's challenging Floyd's numbers. And why the fuck not? It's an honor thing with Canelo. Because the shit actually ain't Floyd's date. And Canelo's a bit insulted by it. So Canelo to HBO's no little move, and make no mistake about it, it'll damage Floyd's numbers if he doesn't pick the right fight. Because Mexico will be watching Canelo on that date. Puerto Rico just might be too. This is big chess. Canelo, Oscar and Golden Boy made their move, and they said. Your move now. To Floyd and Heyman. What's Heyman done? Well. He's made a 24 fight deal with NBC. But we're gonna talk this Heyman move in another video, because that's another ball game in itself. But Heyman's move damages Showtime. Yet it could actually indirectly help HBO. You see in this Canelo to HBO move, we don't see Canelo's numbers trumping Floyd's, and you can bet they don't expect them to, but hope they'll diminish so drastically that Floyd's pushed up against the wall. Polarization's the goal here. To create a shift and transition to Canelo wearing the pay-per-view crown. But if he gets the right man in the ring, and Floyd gets the wrong one. He could do some serious damage. They already know Canelo has a loyal fan base. Thing with Canelo is, if he's having fights fans wanna see against the best, then he can take a loss and still have the fan base. Unless he starts getting smashed in the ring over and over. Like brutally knocked the fuck out. Floyd can't. But make no mistake about it. This move's major for Canelo, damn good for HBO, and a serious shot to Mayweather and Showtime. It also promotes an alliance between these two former foes. Who'll stab each other if they ever get Heyman out of the way. So we've got these guys versus these guys. And with Heyman bringing his act to NBC, you might as well knock these motherfuckers out the box. And from what we see. This fight's a 15 rounder. The momentum's going back and forth. But Mayweather's already on his way out. It's not like he's fighting another 10 years, so who the fuck cares? Any concern with Canelo having better numbers can be about nothing more than Mayweather going out on top. And most fans already know the outcome of a Mayweather fight. And no. It's not because Mayweather's just so skilled. It's because of who he cherry picks. Right now, Canelo fights can easily become more intriguing. And don't get this shit twisted, because Floyd has cards to pull. The thing is. Will he pull them? And we all know the ultimate card. Which is this. And as it stands. Well. Yeah. Canelo wants to take that shit too. But there's another major player in this game. Someone everyone acknowledges as too. But everyone sees him as a temporary player. The stepping stone big names want to get their hands on. What's the saying Floyd used to love to use? All roads leads to Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Well not any fucking more. Right now. Huh. All roads lead to Kota. Yeah. Bet that. The big players here's Mayweather, Cotto, and Canelo, with Triple G in the background. But he'll have to wait. Not to mention Heyman with a ton of shit brewing we're yet to find out about. Ultimately, Canelo wants Cotto. On Cinco de Mayo. And you can bet your last dollar if he gets it, that shit's gonna have Mayweather's numbers taking a serious hit. Floyd's never really had any competition in this department since he reached pay-per-view status. This is his first threat. And the shit's a serious threat. Canelo to HBO opens up a shitload of potential fights. It's a damn good move for Canelo, because who the fuck's left to throw down with at showtime? Cotto's the big move, and you can bet Mayweather would love to get his hands on him as well. You could say, Miguel Cotto's the lottery. But you know what's funny? We've been listening to fans, and everyone seems to feel Cotto loses to all these guys, then rides the fuck off in the sunset as irrelevant, while they use his name to propel themselves to the next level. I mean fans aren't even considering the smallest possibility of Koto winning against any of these guys. They're saying shit like. After Triple G beats Koto, maybe he fights Canelo. After Canelo beats Koto, maybe he fights Triple G. After Mayweather beats Koto, maybe he fights Pac. 
First of all, Pack needs to get the fuck by this guy. And yet, contrary to what fans seem to think, he needs to take this shit seriously. Because Algeria sure the fuck is, and you can bet on it. But it would be funny if Koto busted up all these motherfuckers. While everyone's talking shit, Koto's the walk softly carry a big stick fighter. Yeah yeah we already know. You're all saying. Nah no fucking way in hell Koto beats blah blah. We'll talk about that shit when it goes down. But an older Mayweather fighting at a heavier weight against a bigger more inspired Koto with Roach in his corner, might be more interesting than fans think. Either way, he's got a major payday coming. Unless he does some dumb shit. Like fights a tune up against some trout type motherfucker and gets his ass kicked. Koto's the type who'd do some dumb shit like that. Let's hope he's a bit smarter with Roach in his corner. As for HBO. The Canelo move is big, because it entails more than just Canelo. Not only will it open up the possibility of a shitload of new fights, but it's gonna attract other fighters. If he becomes the next big pay-per-view attraction, expect fighters to jump ship. Get on that undercard, get seen, or even switch networks just to fight the man, or be where fans' eyes are looking. And we have no idea how many bridges the other side may have burned. Oscar can cross back and forth between HBO and Showtime. We said this shit already, but what the fuck happens to Showtime when Mayweather retires? Heyman's taking his fighters to NBC. But HBO's got a lot of up-and-comers. And Mayweather Promotions fighters aren't pulling off anything worth a damn so far, other than getting beat the fuck up. Along with Canelo saying. Fuck Mayweather. I challenge you. Cinco de Mayo's mine, so I'm jacking this shit. But here's Floyd's major move to trump anything Canelo does on that date. Unfortunately, he left it in the hands of Algeri. Yeah. He keeps leaving it in the hands of other motherfuckers. Hoping they'll win, so he can say. See. That pack boy just ain't worthy. So what's the next biggest payday for Floyd outside of Pac and Koto? Since he only fights for the money. Well. The other option is to fight in the ring, the very man who's attempting to jack all his shit outside the ring. And if you think the rematch won't sell. Think again. Usually the first fight has to be close, or a fighter has to have some leverage, but not this time, because that man wants it and has the loyal fan base. All he's gotta do is claim it's gonna be different this time. And let Oscar do his thing with the judges. And all his loyal fans will jump on the fucking bandwagon claiming the same shit. Yeah. Hey. Wait. Hey Floyd. Stop looking so fucking shocked. Because you don't actually have to lose to lose when it comes to Oscar and judges. Truth is. We see Floyd being in a bind. He's gotta fulfill his contract with Showtime. So unless he takes the pack fight, or offers some major dollars to Koto, we don't see many options for him outside of Garcia and Khan. Most likely though. We'll probably see this rather than what we wanna see. And that's the problem with boxing. Seeing what we wanna see. Not what network a guy's on.